Welcome back, everybody. We're here between periods at Salt Lake Golden Eagles Hockey, and it's very unusual to have a chance to interview a National Hockey League Hall of Famer, and even more rare to interview two at the same time. With me is uh, Gordy Howe, one of the all-time greats in professional hockey, and one of the greatest goaltenders ever to play the game, Glenn Hall. Boy, uh, a lot of games played between the two of you guys. Well, yeah, Glenn's got me by about 20. But <laughs> no, we did. Uh, one of the ambitions were at many times when I played with the man. It's kind of nice to know when you made a mistake, you got to keep a head behind and take care of it. But uh, I spent 26 in the NHL, and then I had uh, another six in WT, and and I enjoyed it. And uh, and I got to respect this man because he's so intent. He didn't have the relaxation which I did. I. I fell asleep in between periods one time. The guy said, hey, the how the game is not over. And this guy, I know uh, Bobby Hall used to be one of his enemies while he played with him. He'd look at Glenn and go, like he was getting sick. And poor Glenn would have to go and relieve himself. <laughs> You're a little, little uptight, right? Well, it was certainly fun. You didn't make it any easier. Like, uh, again, I always argue both Bellevue and Gordy uh, retired after they found out that I was retiring. That was his <laughs> first time, and then he came back and played with the kids and the grandchildren and everything else. He had a namesake playing. <laughs> Glenn, what was it like playing against Gordy? Well, like I've always said, I enjoyed playing with him more than I did against him. He was, uh, uh, like, I, I know a lot of people have suggested that he might have been a little bit dirty and a little bit uh, other things. And uh, My son said that. Yeah, uh, I, and I'm sure that he had reason to say it like everybody else that I've talked to, but uh, no, he, like, heck, uh, I shouldn't be saying these things when Gordy here is here, but uh, I've considered him the greatest hockey player who ever played. And it's, uh, it's uh, like, again, a great, great hockey player. Had fun playing it, and that's the difference. That's what makes it. I didn't know you could read my writing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, man. How many goals did you score off him? Maybe how many saves? Uh, how many confrontations? Must have been many, many, many uh, opportunities to face each other over the years. I'll tell you, not too many guys scored that many against this man. He's, uh, what was the uh, lifetime average? It was pretty good. It was 2-5-1. Yeah. Yeah, but in those days it was different. You know, you're all-stars at 2-6-4. So it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's different. But the league has changed too. They went to the uh, the wide open type of game when they removed that uh, the effectiveness of the red line. There's no such thing as a uh, one-line pass anymore. It's, it's, uh, as long as the puck precedes you all is open. And that and it led to, an, uh, and Glenn attests to it, our defensemen used to be the bigger people on the club, the strong guys, with the ability to break a hand with <laughs> with a six-inch chop. That's it. And, and they've said that too. So in, uh, now they've gone with that speed and bouncing off the backboards. You've gone to a more mobile type of defenseman who can be pushed off the puck. And it, what does that lead to? More shots on that. Two of you playing uh, 26 years for you in the National Hockey League, uh, games played uh, leader and Glenn, uh, over 500 consecutive games in goal. Uh, longevity was the key for both of you. And I and I think if you really ask, I don't know, did you enjoy St. Louis or? Very much. Yeah, it's yeah, it really was. Like we were treated different in expansion. Mm -hmm. I don't know if a like, few really noticed it. Like I say, all the big goal scorers were always treated well, but like, I mean, the rest of us might not be. That was kind of a little dig in there, and I guess. <laughs> I wasn't that much of a goal scorer. <laughs> Even Gadsby beat me the first year. I, he won't let me down. He let me forget that, too. But uh, it's, as mentioned, you know, like I played those 26 years in uh, NHL, but my where you can enjoy it, and uh, which I did when I played with Marty Mark in Houston, was most enjoyable. And I as Nate mentioned before, in uh, four years I got paid as much as I did in the last 18 in Detroit, and that's another reason why you got to enjoy it. But uh, had money been the same, I'd have been just as happy because uh, not too many people when they go on a job get to take half the family with them. All right, the two of you together, uh, very exciting. Uh, how often do you get to see each other now? Not often. <laughs> you yeah, both had hair last time we saw one. <laughs> well, you're still doing pretty good. Oh, yeah, yeah. back combing it now. So yeah. <laughs> No, it's uh, it's been a while, uh, but I get out in Calgary once in a while, and uh, that's the homestead for the young man. And so we, we, uh, a lot of people don't realize that uh, in sports figures they're almost like gypsies. The minute your uh, career is through, they disperse and they head home or uh, or are vulnerable to any position as long as there's a job there. So it's. Uh, it, it takes us all across the country, and I, I know with the years I've had with uh, Lindsay and Del Vecchio, I see Ted quite a bit, but I haven't seen Del Vecchio, and I played cash. Most of my hockey I played with Alex. 
All right, best of luck to both of you. Thanks for taking the time, and uh, uh, great to see you. Yeah, Thank work you. For the don't, uh, don't forget to tell my bosses that they have been working hard. <laughs> All right, sounds great. Glenn Hall, Gordy Howe alongside. Uh, we'll have more Golden Eagles hockey in just a moment.